Context Capture Tutorial on Automatic Surface Constraints. Step one is to take an arrow triangulated georeferenced block and create a new reconstruction. You will then navigate to the Spatial Framework tab and set the tiling to regular planar. We will then want to set the tile size to something reasonable for the machine that is running the reconstruction. We can then run a reconstruction in the dedicated reconstruction constraint mode. When that finishes, we can apply constraint. And then we can generate our finished model with constrained water. So we can start with our arrow triangulated block and we can create a new reconstruction. We can then navigate to our spatial framework tab and set our regular planar grid. We're going to want a reasonable amount of expected RAM usage for whatever machine you're using. 10 gigabytes is perfectly acceptable for this. We can then submit our new production. We will name our constraint. We can then choose our reconstruction constraints mode. It's worth noting that this has some requirements such as photos, the georeference positioning level, regular planar grid tiling, and an AI compatible GPU. If you're not sure if your GPU is AI compatible, you can check that in the context capture settings. We can then generate our constraint and submit that to the queue. When that completes, we can then apply constraint to reconstruction. That will then apply the constraint. When you do this, we will get a dialog that comes up informing you that the construction, the constraint will intersect several tiles and that they will need to be redone. We can do that. And when that is applied, any 3MX or 3SM files that need it will need an update and we can submit the update. The end results will be much nicer than they used to be. Here we have the old version of what we would get without any sort of reconstruction constraint. The water here is full of holes. It's very bumpy and wavy. When the constraint is applied, we get smooth water that is almost perfectly flat, lacking any holes. And that is how you use the automatic reconstruction constraints in context capture.